What is up, everybody? It's the Colonel here. And, and Mickey the Macaw. And we're here on XB Craft. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. She she was being herself because her light was off. But as you can probably see, I've got packed ice and more packed ice. And there's this ladder thing going up to the sky. But let me, I want to give you an update. I got the cows in there. And as you can see, there's a pretty good amount of cows. And that's the efficiency. I've noticed a problem where this doesn't uh, just pushing the button once doesn't kill the adult cows so I have to push it like three times to kill them and sometimes they because it's the actual lava killing them not the fire damage they drop raw beef which isn't the end of the world I don't eat beef anymore because golden carrots OP um, the rabbit farm I now have three rabbit's feet. Got same old, same old with this. The chicken farm I updated with a weird redstone contraption to where if this hopper starts to fill up with items, uh, once it gets to a certain number, I'm not sure what number, it will get power to this redstone repeater which will power this block unpower that torch which will pow unpower this block which will make that torch go off which will then um, turn that redstone all on which when that redstone is stays concur uh, on constantly uh, that dispenser doesn't um, fire and so on but, um, so that that's pretty much all that I've gotten done. I'm trying to think of anything else that I've done besides collect a ton of, gla or a ton of packed ice and build that thing. Um, I'm actually going to go into a creative world to show you real quick, what, to show you what we are going to be building in this episode. So I'll see you in that world. All right. So I remember one of the things I said I wanted to build, which brought me to this tangent of want needing to build the Iron Titan before I could do it and blah, blah, blah. Well, there's a guy. I forgot his name. I will put the link to the video in the description. But he designed a mob farm that is based off of one mumbo jumbo designed and the basic premise of it is there's a bunch of packed ice which mobs can spawn on packed ice um, when they spawn on there they're not gonna spawn right now because I'm inside the 20 block radius but when they spawn dispensers fire and why isn't there water? Is that just a visual glitch or what? What's, what's going on? Okay, it's probably just a visual thing. Okay. Um, but basically, what what's going on is every once in a while, I don't know what the exact time is. Mob the uh, dispensers will release water, which will push the mobs that spawned on the packed ice off of here and into this tunnel uh, the guy who originally made this farm made it without this little tunnel thing at the bottom because it makes it a little more efficient but we haven't gotten the Iron Titan built and I kinda wanted to compress it so now I've got a design that doesn't use very many hoppers 25, 6, you know it's not too many hoppers and um, I think I've had this world loaded up for maybe half an hour in total. Like, loaded up and running this spawner for like half an hour. And there. And you can just see, like, see pretty much a constant flow of mobs come out of the thing. 
It's it's really freaking efficient. Really resource friendly, you know. Considering, you know, you need let's see five twenty five hoppers times five is hundred twenty five. So that's hundred twenty five, hundred thirty, hundred thirty five 140, 145 iron, which isn't hard to get, and then you need, so in total you need 155, because the way the firing mechanism works is two hoppers, so it's 155 iron, 156, if you, 156, 7, 8 iron, because you got the dispensers, but basically this is how it's working, you've got a hopper clock, with 21 items in it that so it'll fire every every once in a while like right now and then what that does is it goes uh, powers this repeater which will power this block and power that repeater it's on a four tick delay so it'll when that thing releases power it'll power that line of redstone at the same time it powers that piston and it'll create a one tick pulse. This is called a mono stable circuit. So it'll create a one tick pulse for this line, which will go into that repeater and power all the dispensers where there's a line going around the whole farm. Um, and then after a one, four, six, um, four, eight, 12, 16, 32 tick, 32 tick delay another thing will fire it'll fire again which will power these and then turn the water off and that's all the redstone that goes into this that farm everything else is just um mobs or red hoppers um I made this basic storage system for right now for this farm but you know right now I am in the business for going completely nuts with what I build like I don't wanna just settle for stuff so I'm gonna make these I saw this is a tango tech design is it still emptying yeah I'll break that chest and let it all flow in. I think that chest is filling up now. Yeah. Okay. But basically, what this is, it's a storage silo. Um. You've got it's a three by three by however tall you want it to be storage system for mass storage where. You in this case, just because I was had in my inventory and it was easy to get, I've got packed ice. So you can access the storage from here. And if you do have a better resource pack than I... Or better lights in your pack. It actually indicates, which I can probably... Let me get some t redstone torches see you got it powering that block that block that block that block which um boom 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 but you bas basically what goes on is once items start getting into that hopper But once an item gets into that hopper, it'll that comparator comparator will read it, powering this block, which in turn powers this lamp. Which you can plainly tell is lit. But you know it, you can tell by the torch because on off but that's basically what a storage silo does and um, I'll show you real quick how to build it 
it's really really easy um, and they're tileable which is really cool so what you gotta do is take your uh, dropper I'll build it one over so you can or a couple over so you can separate it uh, take your dropper or or dispenser droppers are cheaper and then you go up um, I you can go up however many you want I go up five four five one two three four five you put redstone lamps here and then to make it look nice I top it with slabs um, you take hopper put there there and you take chest go boom boom um, boom 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 and an alternating design like that and then you take a hopper point it into there and point another one into there so it's pulling out of that chest and putting it into that chest and do the same thing there and then the same thing there so you've got got a big line a curving line where this feeds into that chest this pulls out of that chest feeds into there so on and then to give you the light thing you take a block here a block here and you put a repeat just put a repeater reading out of that hopper actually that's the wrong way put a repeater reading out of that hopper and out of those hoppers out of those hoppers and the storage silo is done and they're compact compact ish they look cool is that's the main thing especially if you have them like right next to each other and alternating designs and they're they're really good indicator for what's you know really good for mass storage like with this, I'm gonna get. I plan on getting a ton of zombie flesh, gunpowder, arrows, bones, spider eyes, string. Get basically get a ton of everything, and I'm also gonna have a miscellaneous chest. Holy crap! I forgot mobs can spawn on hoppers. <laughs> um, this is gonna be a funny thing that happens. Let me some light down in here ready slash kill at e ready <laughs> respawn that's always fun but so that's the basic process that is this mob farm and kind of the tangent of the storage silos but these are going to be a long ways away I'm gonna after I build this part and that part I'm just gonna let it run until I get and I'm gonna keep on mining until I get these hoppers to get all the storage silos because each one takes up uh, one two three four five six hoppers if I build it in this way and there's let's see uh, one two three four five five items five six uh, ignore those yeah there's five or six items so I do I probably do eight for expansion so there's about roughly eight farms and out of those eight farms or er, eight items eight times six is 48 hoppers 48 times five is um, one two four two hundred forty iron Plus all the iron to um, sort this all the sort item sorting hoppers, so it's gonna take a lot of iron, but it'll be worth it because it will look awesome. 
So, um, I'm gonna get to work on, get back on the server and get back to work. And I'll see you guys when I've made a progress. I plan on getting that bottom layer done at least, by now. Done, at least. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, uh, I've got at least this layer. Um, they packed ice where that's going to push them to a centralized point. Um, do I have any normal building blocks? Well, let me go shift there. And I'll show you guys. Oh, that's that's the first part of the farm made. Um, this is going to take a lot of time. Might mean that there is no. This episode's not gonna might not go out when I want it if I plan on doing this whole thing <laughs> in one episode, which I don't think I will. Um. Right now, currently, it is Thursday at 5 o'clock, and I've got class at 6 o'clock, and I haven't eaten dinner, and I haven't done my homework, because I've been making videos for you guys. So, this is, um, I'm going to record one more part of me getting this up, and then probably putting water down, I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, so I'll see you guys in a little bit, and we're back, and I've got the, sh she always knows right when to scream, it's really bad, I hate her, no, I'm kidding, I love her, but, um, so we're back, and I'm gonna kill my bird, um, got the shell built um, I got where the the packed ice is going to go I was taking down this ladder because I'm gonna move it to a corner so I can easily build the farm or build the layers so like I said I've got the shell done um, but this is going to what this means basically is I'm almost done. Like, the redstone won't be hard isn't hard to do. Really the most ex the, the hardest part is already or the most annoying part is almost done. I mean, yeah, I'm going to have to craft um 16 droppers. I'm going to need s no. 4 four times yeah 16 yeah 16 droppers 16 buckets you need some ton of redstone but all in all it won't be that difficult to do like I'll probably be able to do it real quick and um, I was gonna make this a two-part thing where today, where I released this episode, I'm actually recording, finishing this on the day of hopefully releasing it. But, and I was gonna just do like, cut it off here. But, if I do everything off camera, I'll be able to get this done in one episode. So, I, I'm gonna put all the ice together, and put all the, get all the dispensers I need. And, I'll get back to you when the... Ice, ice is all laid out, and it's time to do redstone. Alrighty, guys, I'm back, and the whole of placing most of the blocks is done. I still got maybe like 20 more blocks to place for redstone, but they, they I got the shell done. I've got all the spawning pads done. Got all the dispensers placed. Oh shit. Got all the dispensers placed. Uh, got the ring going around the outside that'll it will hold all the redstone wire that goes around. Um, and I've got the roof on it. Um, right now nothing is able to spawn in it.
because I've got it all lit up. But once I just once I've got it all once I get all the redstone finished and that that's going to include getting storage down at the bottom. But once I get the redstone finished, I'm going to put water here in here and put or I'm going to put all the buckets in there. Uh, I'll have the redstone turned off. I'll put all the buckets in there, eat their respective dispensers. I'll put the water at the bottom and put the redstone and activate the redstone and it'll be a fully complete farm. Um, gonna, I'm gonna, I've got a thing to do real quick, real quick. I gotta head out, do IRL stuff. But, I'm, this farm is almost done. We're almost done to the point where we can start receiving our 13,000 mob drops an hour. But, they're, they're in the redstone. I'm probably going to end up doing on camera because it's that easy that I can do redstone on camera. Where are my carrots? Carrots. I need a stack of gold. Come hither, nuggets. You guys get to watch me craft food. And boom. Cool nuggets. Alright. So I'll see you guys in a little bit when I got all the um red got stuff I'm ready to do redstone basically. Alright guys, it's you can probably hear my morning voice, but the farm is done. I got all the redstone done. I, I finished it last night and logged off. So, but in the little bit of time that I've been, you know, or that I was on, I got all that, which I would say isn't totally bad. I mean, for being on this world for all of like five minutes, that's not bad and um, I know I can make it more efficient or I need to make it better by lighting up around here and lighting up the underground and all that but and I'll do that but I wanted to get a farm that can just run idle so I can get stuff like bones and all that um, there's a new guy on the server Pure underscore Chibbit. I think he has a YouTube channel because he's talked about his camera account. Um, also, Mr. Greenish Liquid paid three diamond blocks for some villagers. So he got, so, you know, ball, balling in the diamonds. Not really. So I'm gonna put those in there. Uh, what else? That's about it. Um, if you liked the episode of me building this farm, that farm right up there, please hit the like button. I know I didn't really build a lot on camera, but you know me. Me and on camera building for big projects doesn't really work. And Tell me what you guys think about the sea lanterns in as lighting over the um, glow uh, over the glowstone, and uh, tell me what you want to see for a floor. What what material do you want to see as a for a floor? Because I actually here soon plan on expanding the walls around everything and start making this an actual base instead of just a conglomerate of little machines and all that. So, uh, tell me what you guys think and I will see you guys in the next episode.